My name is Ben Croak. Um, I'm a research ecologist with the ACT government and I'm the project manager for the Canberra Grassland Earless Dragon Recovery Program. We're trying to salvage this species. They're disappearing um, rapidly from the wild. We suspect things like climate change. We suspect things like um, habitat fragmentation and population fragmentation. We also suspect there are issues with grazing. So we've established a captive breeding colony here at Tippinbilla as an insurance population for the future. For the animals that we're breeding at Tippinbilla will provide animals for research into the threats that they face and to also um, provide animals for future releases once we do understand those threat processes. The captive colony is a particularly important step in the conservation of any species that has dropped to such low numbers in the wild. It provides an insurance population, so if it does become extinct in the wild, we have some animals that we can actually source into. We're protecting the species. What we've received here is two animals from the wild, received in 2021. Um, in addition to that, there's 32 animals from Melbourne Zoo. That, that's our starting point. I might be biased, but they're a great species to work with because they're so dynamic, the way they interact, the interactions between the male and females. It's a big aspect of their husbandry and also their ecology, and that's the social dynamics. Building on our successes that we've had with other species such as the northern crawberry frog, um, which we've successfully been breeding now for a number of years and have, it's part of a greater reintroduction program back into the wild. So with that expertise that we have now built in-house and also our, uh, established our relationships with other institutions like Melbourne Zoo who have a lot of expertise in the grassland Ellis dragons, we can foster and build upon the skills we already have um, so that we can successfully breed these species as well and have a captive colony that will keep this animal going in the future.